Hello, my name is Crystal Contreras and this is my recommender system. We're going to start off by testing user 3 and for, we're going to try to predict the rating for the Da Vinci Code using k equals 3 for k nearest neighbors. In order to get the predicted rating, we are going to call our predicted ratings method and this is going for each row in our data frame. We are going to compute the correlation of an existing user with our target user. So, what does that mean? Well, uh, for we're going to create two new arrays, and this top new X array is going to represent the existing users' ratings, and new Y is going to represent the um, the target users' ratings. And w when both users have rated the same movie, we're going to append to those lists. And that will get passed down to our Pearson um, correlation function in order to compute the similarities or correlation between that user and our target user. We're going to do that for each row and our correlation is going to look like this. We're going to append this to the end of our copy of the data. So next we're going to sort the values with positive values being at the top and negative values being at the bottom. Um, we do this because we want to only take the positive correlations and so if we are presented with the number k and k overflows into the negative domain, we're going to crop k into returning only the top k rows that are positive. So for the predictions, we are going to create a copy of our target row with the <clears throat> that already has that target user's ratings. And so for any um, for any columns that, for any movies that have not been rated yet, that's where we're going to make a prediction for. And we do that here by adding the weighted average to the numerator and sum of the correlations and denominator. So what that means is that we are going to multiply the um, our correlation value um, with the rating number and we're going to take the sum of those we're going to keep adding that to the numerator and take the sum of those and then for our denominator we're going to add up uh, the sum of all of the correlations uh, for k neighbors and that'll give us our prediction so so we will only update when it is a row um, a movie that hasn't been rated yet So as you can see here, the Da Vinci Code will be, uh, the predicted rating for user 3 is 3.99. Now let's get the top end recommendations for that same user, which uses our recommend top end method. And that recommend top end method um, gets the, pred the same um, predicted ratings that we got from before the array, but this time it's going to crop out all of the movies that have already been rated by the user. That way it only returns um, the top recommended movies for movies that that target user has not yet rated. All right, so it returns a recommendation for the Da Vinci Code and the Kite Runner. Next, we're going to test our recommender using a mean absolute error. Okay. So here we are going to, for each row, um, for each test user, NU1 through NU5, we're going to compute the predicted ratings and then compare them uh, using mean absolute error. So for each test user, you can see here that this is the, um, the movie and the predicted rating versus the actual rating. And we're going to get the rating, um, add the rating difference to the numerator. And we're going to, the denominator is going to be the length of the test users, so it'll be five test users. Um, and then all of those are going to be um, divided um, by the mean average, the length of the mean average, which is uh, the mean absolute error, which is um, the length of the users, which is five. So 
here, the mean absolute error for our recommender system is 1.81379. Okay. And then here are some sample cases for NU1, NU2, um, and users. And then top recommendations for users 2, uh, 5, 13. Predicted ratings for NU1 and NU2 and top three recommendations.